The Beulah Miners are undefeated this season, and with one big improvement, they don't plan on slowing down anytime soon, and our Lou Gamble has a story. Beulah's volleyball team is off to a hot start this season. A big part of that success is a lineup with athleticism that the Miners have never had before. We've got a, a lot of girls that can jump and move, and it's not just a couple, it's it's all. We've just got so many hitters, you know, and, and having that, it's a great problem to have because we just got hitters coming out of the woodwork. The 6-0 start is a testament to the team's improved offense, something the Miners have focused on early in the year. I think our passing is getting better and setting. We're working really hard on those two things. The Miners are trying to take advantage of their athleticism on offense by playing faster, creating a quicker tempo to keep defenses on their feet. Speed is definitely something that we have. We have a lot of quick offenses, so it like throws other teams off because they aren't there in time or even on defense. When we're there and ready, then we'll be able to use it. It helps the game go faster if you have the right mentality and skills to do it. Playing faster has led to more playing time for other players. Phil Beck says he has nine or more girls that can get on the court at any time, which will be an advantage in close games. For this year, I think we're a lot more balanced where a lot of girls can come in and continue to play at a you know high level of play instead of being you know tired and we're in th set three or four. The Miners hope their offense can power them to a higher seed in the regional tournament. It's just staying in games mentally that Phil Beck believes will be their biggest hurdle. Getting that comfort of just, hey, we're here, it's another game, and, and knowing we can do it, just believing in ourselves. And they've got the ability, now we just gotta, we just gotta prove it. In Beulah, Luke Gamble, KX Sports. The Miners face undefeated Dickinson Trinity tonight.